welcome to pouches and more today we'll prepare this cute coin pouch we've got coins in it this is how it will look it's got a zip it's also got a wristlet which we can put our wrist so this is a coin pouch so let's check out the materials required to make this We'll be making a pattern it's got five inches on this side and five inches on this side and one inch by one inch we've cut a box now this is on fold so when we'll open it it look like this so this is the paper basic pa paper pattern which we'll be doing we'll cut the interfacing exactly the same as the pattern so next what we'll require is will require one piece of lining fabric and one piece of main fabric so this we are going to cut it one around half inch more than the pattern all around so this is how it will be we'll also require one piece of main fabric and it measures 11 inch by 3 inch we'll require a zip i've taken a long zip we require an 8 inch long zip so these are the materials required so first what we'll do is we'll take the fusing and the sticky side we're going to put it on the main fabric wrong side and we are going to iron this and stick it next we'll prepare the wristlet for that what we'll do is we'll fold the cloth lengthwise and again we'll get the raw edges in the center like this both sides of the raw edges will get it in the center then what we are going to do is we are going to make a stitch on both the sides over here so after having fused the main fabric we are going to make a center marking so we are just going to fold it like this this is our center marking which is going to fold it like this And we are going to make a small cut over here small notch so this center notch will be doing it on the lining fabric and the main fabric now what we are going to do is we'll take a scale and we'll mark half centimeter on both sides of the center mark that we have done on both sides of the center mark we are going to make half centimeter marking so this is how it will be both sides we have made a half centimeter marking now we are going to stitch the wristlet it's a straight stitch both sides a straight stitch we are going to do it so I finished doing that this is how it will look so next what we are going to do is we will take the main fabric right side facing up the zip right side facing down and we will just open the zip and place it like this so we are just going to the teeth will be in the inner side so the raw edges will be together the teeth of the zipper will be on the inner side so this is how we will be clipping the entire thing since it is a, a curved edge we have to be careful and clip it neatly so we will be clipping the entire thing till the half centimeter marking that we have done this is the half centimeter marking that we have done till here this is the till here we will be clipping it now so we will have to stitch till here only we will have to stitch com completely till here so now we will place the lining the right side facing the right side and the zip is sandwiched in between we are just going to align it properly and we are going to clip it now so neatly clip the whole thing till the half centimeter marking so we have clipped it this is still the half centimeter marking that we have this is the half centimeter so we are going to stitch from till here only till here we are going to stitch the entire thing till here so we are changing the foot to a zipper foot and we will be stitching the curved edge 
so i finished stitching that we have stitched it only till this marking half centimeter marking we have stitched it this is till here only now we'll do the other side for that the right side of the main fabric is facing up we'll take the zip the zip right side is facing down right side is facing down and now we will place it neatly like this same thing on this side the teeth will be on the inner side the raw edge is outside we are going to sandwich the zip between the main fabric and the lining fabric the main fabric and the lining fabric right sides are together the zip is sandwiched in between again the curve edges we are going to clip it first and we'll stitch it we'll be stitching it only till the half centimeter marking so first we are going to clip it and we're going to stitch it stitch the entire thing so the right zip is facing down now the right side is up the zip is in between and both the right sides are together we're going to make a stitch over here only till the half centimeter marking we're going to make a stitch entirely so i finished doing that now we'll make small cuts all around since we need to turn it and the edge is curved we'll make small cuts all around so we'll have to turn this thing now inside out we're just going to turn it neatly turn it all around and now just pull the zip teeth little I'm going to make a top stitch over here continuous we are just going to make a top stitch so neatly just press the fabric and make a top stitch so we are finished doing a top stitch now now what we need to do is this is done Now what we need to do is, we have prepared the wristlet, we are going to attach it over here. Over here we are going to attach the wristlet. So this is the wristlet that we have done, we have just folded it in a loop, half we have folded it. So we will stitch it only to the main fabric, only to the main fabric. The raw edge is outside and the loop is inside. And we are going to place it like this, around 1 cm away from the zip, only to the main fabric only to the main fabric we are going to stitch over here the raw edge is out so we are going to change the foot now over here we will make it into uh, we will put a normal foot so the main fabric only we are going to stitch the raw edges outside the raw edges outside and the loop is inside we are going to make a straight stitch and we are going to back stitch it also so that is done i finished doing that now we are just going to put a pin and fix the wristlet inside so that we don't want it coming in between when we will be stitching the other borders it should not move around so we have just pinned it now again we have to turn the whole thing to the wrong side and what we are going to do is now we will just align the zips the lining side lining to one side and the main fabric to one side which is going to align the zips that we stitched to the fabrics and we just align the sides also of the fabrics just clip it like this I'm going to clip it all around just align it and clip it so the main fabric is on one side and the lining fabric is on the other side we have to make a straight stitch over here so we'll do that for the lining fabric also we'll just align it all and we're going to clip it we're going to clip it now in the lining fabric we have to leave an opening this much we are going to leave we are not going to stitch this for turning it inside out we are going to leave straight stitch and a continuous straight stitch over here so it's a simple straight stitch the main fabric is completely stitched in the lining fabric we need to leave an opening so we'll finish it off with a back stitch also we have done so that's done we have left an opening over here that's open now next what we're going to do is 
this is done we are just going to cut the extra zip now we need to box this for that we are going to open it like this and the center will come in the center bottom marking we will be aligning it to the bottom marking and we are going to clip it and make a straight stitch so we are going to open it like this open it like this the bottom line and the stitch seam line will be together and we are going to make a straight stitch now we are going to clip it I'm making a straight stitch over here it's a just a simple straight stitch that we'll be doing so we are going to stitch the box corners and we are going to start and stop with the back stitch we are going to do that for both main fabric and the lining fabric as well so we'll just do a back stitch and finish it off so that's done now we have finished doing this boxing the corners now we just need to turn the pouch inside out so this up from this opening we'll just turn the whole thing inside out so very carefully pull the whole pou pouch out like this you need to push it carefully now we have removed the pin from the wristlet neatly push everything out so that is done the corners boxed corners which is going to push it out neatly this is all neatly done now we need to pull the zipper pull out so we have done that and now this is the extra zip as of now you just push it inside and just put the zip and try it on whether the pouch is okay so let us just do it neatly it's okay so we are just going to pull the extra zip out and cut it so we'll just cut this thing so cut it now again just neatly before stitching just neatly arrange the whole thing and now we need to stitch this opening that we left it's a simple straight stitch so we have finished doing that and the pouch is completely done so it will be looking like this this is how it will look it's got a wristlet and this is how it looks it's got a zip it's small and cute you can carry your coins around please do try it bye and thanks for watching